Hi friends, it's Amy and I'm your sewing teacher. I'm here to talk to you this week about buying sewing notions overseas using AliExpress. A couple weeks ago, I made a video where I compared the purchases that I made from Amazon to Wish.com. Now in those comments, quite a few of you said that you shop at AliExpress. So I thought this was the perfect time. I still had a few more things I needed to buy in preparation for the bag making that I'm going to be doing. So that's what we're here to do today is we're gonna talk about the order. I'm gonna show you what I got and then give you my first impressions of the items. So I made the order on April 27th and things began to arrive within three weeks, but the majority of the items arrived at the four week mark. So if you are in a hurry for the items that you need, this is not the avenue for you. However, if you are looking to save a little bit of money, this is a great opportunity. So the very first thing that I wanted to try is I wanted to try rainbow thread. I've noticed a lot on the bag making groups on Facebook that people are using rainbow thread when they are doing their top stitching if they have rainbow hardware or rainbow zippers and it looks really, really nice. And here's the rainbow thread that I bought. I'm going to put a picture above with the price that I paid and a picture of it up close so you can see what it looks like. That was the first thing I bought. The second thing that I bought were these beautiful rainbow pieces of hardware. So I decided that I would like to have some of the strap adjusters and I ordered D-rings and lobster clips. Now I have lots of these in other types of finishes and I really have found it difficult to find the rainbow ones at a reasonable rate. I'm extremely happy with the quality and I'm very happy with the quality of the thread. Now the next thing that I was looking up was webbing. I'm really interested in finding webbing for strapping but not all the straps I do are going to be wide. Some of the crossbody bags are quite small so I was looking for a thinner webbing. I didn't want to do a propylene webbing. I already have lots of that and that's quite stiff. So I was looking for something in a cotton. I did find the cotton webbing and I chose these three beautiful colors and I am very happy with them. These were a smaller, so about a three quarters of an inch and that's about um, 20 millimeters. So it is smaller and I can use some of my smaller hard on those. Now something that's come up with in bag making and on the bag making groups in Facebook is a lot of people using seatbelt webbing. I hadn't seen the seatbelt webbing for sale in Canada, but I had seen some beautiful bags made with it. It's very soft because it is a nylon webbing and I have seen some beautiful webbing and especially some rainbow. Still haven't been able to find it in Canada yet but I'm keeping my eye open. I'll let you know when I do. What I did find was this beautiful black. I bought about five meters of it, very reasonably priced. Here's a picture of what I paid and what it looks like. So this webbing is about an inch and a quarter or about 32 millimeters. And I'll show you right now I have just put it in the strap adjuster. Now this webbing's just a smidge too big, um, but that's okay. It looks like it's gonna work fine for it. Um, and I think it looks fantastic. So I'm very excited to use those as well. The next thing that I wanna show you are these beautiful handmade metal labels. And I wasn't sure about the quality of these. I thought they might look quite flimsy, but they are very sturdy and beautiful too. I got some silver ones and I got some gold ones and I'm very happy with these. Let me show you what I paid and what they look like up close and then how many I got. So again, a very happy purchase for me. As you know from two of my prior videos, the Amazon versus Wish and the mail call videos, I have been collecting vinyl in order to make some purses, bags, and backpacks. Oh, and wallets too. So I wanted to see what the quality of the leather, of the faux leather and vinyl was from AliExpress. What I found was very pleasing. I didn't find it cheaper than I did at Wish or at Amazon, but if you're going to be making an order, it's worth the purchase. 
So what I found was this beautiful black embossed faux leather. And it, from that last video, you saw that I really had found some beautiful embossed leathers from Amazon. So I was very happy that this came in. And this is a very nice quality as well. It is fleece backed, not woven back. And again, very happy with the quality. Now I did also get this Beetlejuice vinyl. And this vinyl was just, it's kind of kitschy and fun. And I also found this Dirty Dancing vinyl. It's a glitter vinyl. And I thought it was kind of fun and kitschy. So that is everything that I bought this round at AliExpress. I was quite pleased. I was very pleased with the quality of the things that came in. If you have a favorite distributor in Canada or the United States for items that would help me make some bags, we I'm always looking for webbing, hardware, vinyl, and really fantastic custom fabrics. If you have a link that you'd like to share, could you please put it in the comments? We'd all like to see it. And the other thing, is if this is the kind of content that you like, please give this a thumbs up. It'll really help get me onto the YouTube algorithm so I can share my knowledge with more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, please click that subscribe button and the bell will notify you when I have new videos coming up on Sundays.